हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द न्यू कोर्स ऑन न्यूमेरिकल पाइथन लाइब्रेरी अ नंपी लाइब्रेरी व्हिच इज रिटर्न ऑन द टॉप ऑफ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो व्हाट इज नंपी लाइब्रेरी सो नंपी इज अ न्यूमेरिकल पाइथन लाइब्रेरी व्हिच इज रिटर्न ऑन द टॉप ऑफ पाइथन ऑफ कोर्स इट्स अ ओपन सोर्स प्रोजेक्ट बट व्हाई दिस नंपी गॉट डेवलप एंड व्हाट इज द यूज केस ऑफ नंपी so to do all those kinds of mathematical and a logical operation on a multi dimensional array you can use the numpy library so who created the numpy this gentleman in 2005 jim started working on this numpy project what other things this numpy can do like all those kinds of matrix operation all those linear algebra related functionalities are available in this numpy so that is all about what numpy is but why we have to use the numpy although we have already available this python list so why we need to use the numpy so first thing is numpy is very much fast and we need some library which is super fast because we are going to use it for the machine learning kind of extremely computational stuff now why this numpy is fast because numpy is not completely written in a python but it is written inside the c and it is very much highly optimized code that's why the numpy all those kinds of operations are very much fast compared to python list a core data structure available in python there is another useful function of numpy like a vectorization so when you are trying to do looping in a python list obviously due to this loop all those slow down will come but numpy use those vectorization so at a one shot there is a parallel implementation of many of those function so all those function execute very much fast and numpy is a backbone of majority of data science package like data analysis library pandas use numpy core data structure ndra and we have a another library machine learning library scikit learn or i would say sk learn uses basic structure the numpy core data structure ndra so that is why the numpy is very much useful and a very much fundamental library to get started and dive into the data science or a machine learning with python all right so that is all about what numpy is and why numpy now let's see what we are going to cover throughout this whole course so first foremost and very important part is numpy installation so there are two ways we can install it either you can just simply install the standalone python and on the top of python with the help of package manager pip you can install the numpy library and start working on it we are going to go with the another way like anaconda installation way so anaconda is nothing but a python distribution and not just the python distribution but thousands of different python packages also got included and after installation of this anaconda by default this numpy got installed so you do not need to worry about any kind of installation once the anaconda got installed automatically this numpy will be installed or by chance if the numpy is not installed you can just simply use this pip package manager and install it like pip install numpy or you can just simply use conda install numpy so that is how we are going to proceed so in a next video and a subsequent video we will see how to download and install this anaconda and in the upcoming video we'll see about the jupiter notebook because as a id throughout this whole course we are going to use this jupiter notebook all right so that is all about the installation part after that we'll just straight dive towards the coding part and let's see what topics we are going to cover in a coding part in this numpy library so first thing is to do any kind of manipulation we need array so we will see what are the different ways and what are the different functions are available to create the numpy array or i would say the core data type or a data structure available in this numpy library we will see how to create those nd array now interchangeably i will use this n dimensional array or a nd array or a numpy array eventually i am going to refer it to the same object so don't get confused now once that array got created we'll see what are the operations and attribute we can perform on the top of those array then we'll see what is array indexing and a slicing so how to extract based on index position 
some meaningful and important data. Then we'll see one very important concept like a broadcasting. How you can iterate over every single element available in the array. How you can put the binary condition to extract some data based on those conditions. Some mathematical functions like a trigonometric function, exponential function, ceiling, floor, and many more mathematical functions we'll see and how we can apply all those functions directly on this ND array. Arithmetic operation. So how you can do all those element by element operation on the top of ND array. One very important concept like a copy and view. How you can sort the element inside the array or how you can search the specific element in array. Some of the statistical functions like a percentile, quadrile, mean, median and all those things we'll see. At the end, we'll see some very important functions available in this linear algebra module, lineage module, I would say, in a NumPy library. So these are the topics we are going to cover throughout this whole course and I am very much excited. So see you in the next video. We'll get started with a downloading of Anaconda installation and afterwards we'll get started with the Jupyter Notebook.